Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, and I always say at the end, I gotta remember to put it more in the beginning. If you like the channel, uh, please subscribe, and uh, also follow me on Instagram since I put up pictures of things like I'm gonna show you today. I don't know why I'm pointing backwards. I should be pointing that way. Things I'm gonna show you today go up on Instagram uh, well before I'm able to do a video on them. So, uh, today, Seiko King Turtle. Have you heard of it? I hadn't, and it was funny that my Seiko rep said to me, hey Mark, I'm going to show you the King Turtles when I come visit you, um, whatever day it was. And I was like, what the heck is a King Turtle? Well, it's a turtle, like all the other turtles. Um, but, are you ready for this one? Seiko has put sapphire crystals on them and ceramic bezels. Who would have thought? So I have, I think they released three. I only got two. I guess the third one's kind of not released yet. Two on straps to show you today. They have awesome uh, checkerboard type dials. I'm going to show them to you today. Just a quick note since everyone's asking. I feel like almost like the Seiko Alpine is like a smokescreen to every other new Seiko that's came out. I got loads of new presages, loads of, uh, well not loads, some turtles, new presages, some other really cool just plain quartz ones that look awesome. But everyone's talking about the new Alpinist that is coming out, I guess it's coming out this month, January, uh, at some point. I will not be carrying them. Um, you can ask me why. I will be honest with you and tell you that I am simply not permitted to carry them uh, by Seiko USA. Uh, so you won't, you won't find them here. You will find lots of other cool stuff, though, of course. Uh, my own wrist check. I mean, do we really have to do one? Of course, it's an Islander. And... The one that didn't make it into production, but it's like my prototype and I love it, so it stays on my wrist. Let's check out these cool new King Turtles. So, do not let the name King Turtle fool you. It is not any bigger than the other turtles. It is, in fact, the same turtle case. Um, so, there's a green one and a blue one. I'm actually going to take a little turn of events and just go over the green one first. I think it looks pretty cool. We haven't seen a green turtle in a while. Um, like ever. Uh, so this is uh, model number SRPE, I don't know, 07 or 05, um, one or the other. There is a um, bracelet version that I do not have yet. Um, when I get it, I guess I'll do a review on it, but right now it's just these two rubber strap versions. So in turtle fashion, it's 45 in diameter. It's about 13 and a half thick. Okay, it's about 47 lug tip to lug tip. Of course, a solid screw down case back. Little Seiko Wave, um, 22 millimeter lug, comes in a beautiful dark green silicon rubber strap. The same, you know, supple silicon rubber that um, the turtles are known for, except now it's done in a green color. Really cool. Um, the big upgrade here would be the sapphire crystal and the ceramic bezel. It is not a loomed ceramic bezel, save for the bezel pip, but the bezel its insert itself is ceramic, so it will not scratch. The crystal will not scratch. The insert will not scratch. Oh, and the quote-unquote candy bar cyclops is here, covering now we covering now the day and the date. Um, the turtle did not have a cyclops in the past. Pretty cool that they went with sapphire and did a sapphire cyclops, and it's pretty interesting. Um, let's get this thing out of... Spanish Day. Not that there's anything wrong with Spanish Day. Whoops. Just confuses people sometimes, and you ask me what I'm selling. So, there we go. So, it runs on Seiko's 4R36, um, which is their hand winding hacking. As you saw, I just hacked it. Seconds hand stops. Um, 24 joule automatic movement with about a 40 hour power reserve. Um, this watch will fit all turtle accessories, um, aftermarket parts, whatever you want. Bracelets, doesn't matter. Everything else is standard turtle. The name King, I'm guessing, is because of the upgraded crystal and the upgraded bezel insert. Let's dive in a bit. Check out that dial. That box dial with the, uh, with the impression in it. It looks awesome. So cool. Divers 200 is in gold, as well as the seconds hand is gold accented. Divers means, as you guys know, that this is an ISO 6425 rated diver, which means more than just it's been tested to 250 meters of water resistance as a whole other battery of tests it has to go through to meet that ISO certification. 
We also have Movement Japan, you will see on the back. So the movements are actually made in Japan. Um, Divers Watch 200, Stainless Steel, Sapphire Crystal, serial numbers. These are um, these are new. They came from, uh, they were made, seems about no uh, November, September of 2019. Check out the green rubber strap that I mentioned with the beautiful hardware and the sign Seiko buckle. The price, I have not mentioned the price. I don't think I did. Uh, the price is $5.95. So if you go by retails, which is what these are selling for, uh, they're selling for retail, $5.95, and you look at the regular turtle, which sells for for something, I, I should have looked it up offhand, but I didn't. So about another 100 bucks or so and gets you sapphire and ceramic. If you look at it from purely that aspect, it obviously is a good deal. Um, if you're looking at it from, hey, I can get blah, blah, blah from blah, blah, blah brand at half the price, yeah, you can. It's not going to be a Seiko. That is for darn sure. And then we'll do the other model, the blue dial. Um, it's got the, uh, this one's got the Save the Ocean dial. You can see the, see the shark fin right there on the left? Or the great white, whatever they're calling it. Um, the beautiful blue dial. Beautiful loom. Nice bezel. Again, we'll, I'll shut the light out so you can see the, you know, the loom bright. Um, but this is a now classic Seiko hands, um, Seiko seconds hand, whereas on the green one we had a different style seconds hand. This one is on a black strap, that classic black strap. You know, maybe they could have gone with the blue one here, but they did not. It is a black strap with the Seiko hardware. It is a beautiful turtle watch. It is the king turtle. Let's flip out the lights and check out the loom. So as you guys know, Seiko uses Lumabrite. It's their own compound. Uh, but if you look at the one on the left is the blue dial. Uh, that's more of your, what I would call like a BGW9 color, that blue color. And on the right is your classic Lumabrite, which glows ridiculously bright. Ridiculous. Um, people ask me often on, like let's say my, my brand of watches, why don't you use BGW9? Just because of, look at this picture I'm showing you. The blue is beautiful on the left, but look how much better green glows for the same amount of luminescent paint. Um, it just does a better job of emitting the light, and that is a scientific fact. So there it is on my uh, six and three quarter inch wrist. Room to go big, much bigger, of course, and room to go smaller. Um, but if you notice that, and I've done this before in the Turtles, my six and three quarter inch wrist, the strap excess is just getting up to the wave of the strap. So if you have a smaller wrist, you may be using one of like the uh, in one of those tricks I showed in sizing a, sizing a nylon strap. You might be strapping a quarter to the strap and cutting it neatly um, to get it to be a little bit shorter for you because you'll have a ton of overhang and it'll be up here. Obviously, the strap is made long to go over a wetsuit as it is a tool watch meant for diving. So that about will wrap it up. Um, this has been Mark from LongEyeWatch.com showing you Seiko King Turtles. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel like I told you in the beginning if you're still sticking around. Uh, put your comments down below, and I will be sure to read them and address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.